if you'd like to decrease by two stitches at a time, you can also do a K3 tug rather than a K2 tug. Where in a K2 tug you obviously knit two stitches together to produce a one stitch decrease, like so. In a K3 tug, you stitch three stitches together, so you go up through three stitches, like so. And you knit all those three together. And that produces one stitch where you had three before. So you've decreased by two stitches at a time. This is also a right leaning decrease. Same as the K2 tug. You can also do a K4 tug if you're feeling brave and you want to decrease by three at a time. But the ones you'll most often find are K2 tug and K3 tug. As well as a P2 tug, as in pearl two together, you can also have a P3 tug. So where in a pearl two together, you go down through two stitches and pearl those together to decrease by one stitch. With a P3 tug, you go down through three stitches like so. You can see that? You go down through three stitches and up and you purl those two together. Those three together rather. And you come out on top of those at the back. And you pull those three off and you get one stitch where there were three so you decrease by two at a time when you do a P3 tug.